Hey guys, uh, this is Moshe. In uh, this video, a new video that uh, Tesla has released uh, about autopilots, uh, neural net, you can see as well as new images of other system that is powering the autopilot and that includes a simulator of the Tesla uh, Cybertruck. Um, if we are to believe Elon Musk in 2020, Tesla is going to release the full self-drive a system built on autopilot. We'll see about that. I'll say more things about it later. Uh, obviously, Tesla has made a lot of progress in recent years and more recently with the V10 Tesla software upgrade. Um, in order for the system to work, Tesla has to grow what's already a large autopilot AI team. Now it's led by uh, uh, Andrej Karpathy, which, who is the director of the AI team. He's a very impressive person. Um, as part of the hiring effort, the automaker is also a, created a landing page. I'm going to show you the landing page of the autopilot uh, recruitment team. It's very, very important to them. And the Tesla, Tesla describes the effort of the, uh, of the autonomy and artificial intelligence. They say in a quote, we develop and deploy autonomy at scale. We believe that an approach based uh, on advanced AI for vision and planning su supported by efficient use uh, of interface hardware is now is the only way to achieve general solution for full self-driving uh, basically if you translate what they just say basically a, a full self-driving it's by far more difficult than they thought uh, at the beginning and so on the landing page you see the tabs for hardware a, a neural networks, a autonomy algorithm, code foundation, foundations, and a evaluation a, a infrastructure. And uh, if just to a, touch upon the hardware, what comes when it comes to hardware, Tesla released the, the uh, Autopilot 3.0 self-driving computer last year and claimed that and claimed a factor of 21 improvements in frame per second processing versus the previous generation of Tesla autopilot hardware. It's being installed in new cars. That That is very impressive. I have to say it's very impressive. But the bottom line is, if you ask me, the bottom line is that uh, Tesla realized that how difficult that is. And, and the fact that we don't have a full autopilot now is just shows that this is incredibly difficult. It's not easy to do, uh, but they are making tremendous strides towards that goal. Um, uh, apart, uh, let me just share with you one more quote. Uh, as part of the rewrite, Musk said that the, and I quote, the neural net is absorbing more and more of the problem. Building the code is one is one thing, but Tesla is also extensively test, testing it. Building on the closed loop hardware is is in the loop evaluation tools and infrastructure at scale to accelerate the pace of innovation, track performance improvements, and prevent uh, re regressions. Okay, so this is part of this great effort, as you know. The huge bet on Tesla stock, for example, by ARK Investments and others is not necessarily sales of cars. It's really this. It's the full self-drive, the autonomy, which then will help Tesla leverage their fleet to uh, make money on ride sharing. So that is great progress, but it's not there yet. And if you ask me, I don't know. I don't know if 2020 will be the year that full self-drive and autonomy will be released, but we shall see. I'm sure it's going to have great improvement. But we shall see about that. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. I'll share with you more in the future. Bye.